Hi, I'm Andy Gupp with the ESRI Developer Network team, and I wanted to introduce you to the ArcGIS API for Flex. It's the newest API for building rich internet applications on top of ArcGIS server. So to get things started, I interviewed Bjorn Svensson. He's the product engineer for the API. He's going to give you a walkthrough of the resource center. Let's see what Bjorn has to say. I think the main point to remember is that there is a resource center, and it's the main place to go for information about the samples, the API reference, and getting started documents, and all the other information that we have about the API. Well, the first thing you want to do is probably download the API library. And you can do that from our uh, homepage. Let's take a look. So, uh, the link is actually in two places. There's a download API library over on the right side, and also in the text. When you click on that, you need to sign the license agreement, and then go on from there. Once you've downloaded the API library, you probably want to start reading about what the API can do. So the first thing I would look at is under concepts. In the concepts, we uh, talk about the, the API. Uh, we have a diagram that's really useful. It shows you all the classes we have. There's about 100 of them right now. We also have getting started documents, where we have a little video that shows you how to get started with the Flex API, how to create your first application. Well, that's really nice as a quick start. Yeah, a lot of people learn very easily from this. There's also a lot of other information in the getting started in the concepts. One of the points I like to point out is the references. There's some information about using cross-domain file and some debugging tips that could be really useful. In addition to the concepts, we also have an API reference. And we, we spend a lot of time making sure the API reference is really good documented. So the first thing I'd like to show is the map. Map is the only real visual component that we have in the API. It's always the most important part of the map, is the map component. And all the things you'd expect are here in the documentation, right? Such as properties, methods, events, all of that type of information. Yeah, what we're using is basically the standard uh, Flex documentation. So if you actually read the Flex SDK documentation, it looks the same way, it's created the same way. So we're reusing the same uh, methodology to do that. So in case of the map, there's all the properties you and methods and so on. In addition to the map, some of the cool things we can do are the tasks that we have, the task framework from RTS server. Anything from query to uh, geometries to geoprocessing, find and so on. Now one of the things we've been working a lot is to include a lot of links, both to the concepts and to the samples and to other uh, resources available on the internet. Oh, that'll be really convenient. Yeah, but so for example, from the find test, you could directly see a live sample for how that specific find would be implemented. That's nice. So it's right there in the API documentation. So rather than jumping between browsers or browser windows, I could just click directly from the docs. Correctly. So we have samples that showcases pretty much every part of the, the API. And they're grouped into some kind of logical structures. Anything from mapping, the graphics, events, query task, identify. What I want to show right now is a, a query using a geoprocessing. So basically, you click on the map, it'll send out the geoprocessing task that has a drive time analysis, and then it goes into a query to find out how many people live inside this drive time. And that's nice because within the sample, not only can I see the application try it live, it looks like you can also see the source code, copy it to a clipboard, and dump it right into Flex Builder. Good point. So there's a tab right here for source code where you can copy it to the clipboard and you have it on your mouse. Also to remember is when you download the Flex API library, you get all the samples and the sample code. That's really nice. So I don't have to keep referring back to the online ones. I can just use them directly in, yep. in my development environment. It's really handy to have it on your machine. You can search easily for you know, where's find being used and so on. Excellent. Now in addition to the samples, we also have a community tab. And I think it's a really cool aspect that we have a code gallery where people can upload their applications. So you can then uh, download these and uh, rate them. Uh, one of the most popular ones is probably a sample Flex Viewer that was uploaded a while ago. In addition to the code gallery, we also have forums. And it's a very active forum. I think it's probably the best place to start getting uh, help. Uh, either the forums, and if you have more help, then of course the ESRI technical support will be glad to help you out. Right, and the nice thing about the Resource Center, too, is that it gives you a, a very discreet view of the forums. If, you, if you're if you in the Flex Resource Center and click on the forum tab, it just takes you directly to the Flex forums, right? Correct. So there is forums for a lot of different topics, but the one that Flex developers are most interested in is obviously the Flex one. 
and maybe some of the rest or server part if they're having uh, as that part of their applications. Very good. And I know you also downloaded the Flex Sample Viewer. Can we just take a quick look at that? Sure, I'd be happy to. So I downloaded the Flex application, Sample Flex Viewer. Here we go. So in this case, this is out of the box. I haven't made any changes to it whatsoever. You can move around. It has the scale bar down at the bottom. You can zoom in and out. Uh, one of the things it comes with also is some of the different tasks and uh, boxes. What I want to see show here is an earthquake feed. So you can click on one of these and it will take you straight to that place. And another cool thing here is that you can change the base map. So the Flex Viewer is built on a concept of base maps with feeds. So you can have one base map and then you have different feeds on top of that. So in this case the earthquake feed. Very cool. Well thanks for your time Bjorn. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. I hope you have fun with the Flex API.